Alright, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Cade. My name is Andy as always, and today is the thrilling conclusion, for now, of Undertale! Or at least my playthrough of it. Um, so, last time we left off, I solved one of Papyrus's very uh, difficult puzzles! And now we're here, in the decapitated dog head area. Kind of scared. Anyway, let's move on. What you got to say? Dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But, as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow, until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Time to solve this uh, puzzle. Hmm. Oh, it's like a circle. Okay. Yeah, because you just... And then there, and then there, 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 and there. Ta-da! Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, I got my practice from, uh, what was that one gym in Pokemon? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got some snow on my head. Anyway, there was a po there was a gym in Pokemon. I think it was uh, the uh, fucking Sapphire, Sapphire Ruby, where you had there was like an ice gym, and you had to like go around the different tiles and stuff like that. Whew, that was frustrating. Yep, yeah, yeah, it was Sapphire because when they remade it, I had to play through that again, and oh man, I I remember, oof, it was bad. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. Yeah, come on. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30G inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. <laughs> uh. That's not a snow puff. It's a doggy. Hey! It's a cute little doggy. Oh, oh, that's a big doggy. <laughs> Look at this little guy. All right. Uh, let's let's just pet pet the guy. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Oh God. Watch out for the barks! Whoa! He's watching me intently. Um, if he's too far away, I can beckon him. It bounds towards me, flecking slobber into my face. Oh, oh god. Oh no. He's seeking affection. Okay, now it's time to pet. Curls up in my lap, lap at his, as it's pet by me. Gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Let's see. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh my god. God. I love this game. He's pat he's pet patting the ground with his front paws. Alright, let's pet some more. His excitement is creating a power field that prevents Oh. Ah damn it. Ah. He's patting the ground with his front paws, okay. Let's play. I make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Greater dog wants some TLC. Okay, pet time. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh, oh shit, damn it. Pet capacity is 40%. Alright, um... I need some nice cream. HP is maxed out. Neato! Ah, damn it. Ah! Jesus. <laughs> pet capacity is at 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Aha. 
Greater dog is contented. All right. Yay, 40 gold, nice. Ah. Ah. <laughs> he hops in backwards. Ah. Oh. This game gives me all the feels. And it just, it, it looks so beautiful, man. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, hey, it's you guys. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Hey, it's the dog. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. <coughs> that uh, does look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Bye, doggy. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Ha! Ha! <laughs> okay, then. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Well, okay, then. Uh, hope we get a checkpoint soon. Hey! Look at this place! I'm in Snowden! Hmm. Oh yay, checkpoint. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yeah! This game's nice. Hello there, traveler. How can I help you? I got some G to burn. Uh, let's see, tough glove, a manly bandana. <laughs> a bandana with arms! A bicycle. That's pretty neat. Let's go with Manly Bandana. Yes. Sweet. And a bicycle! Or bicycle. A bicycle. Yeah. Let's do it again. And one more time. Okay. I think that's it. Hello there, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grilby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost that can burrow under the door, forget about it. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Alright, cool. Bye now. Come again sometime. You here? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, it fills me with determination, got it. Okay, cool. Let's go to the end. Hello. 
It's a little... Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above, above your maximum HP. Interesting. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Okay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Oh. <laughs> Look at the rat. What are the? They're snoring. <laughs> Wait. It sounds like a song, kind of. You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're gonna stay overnight. Oh. Oh! That's cool. See? Check it out. I got 30 over 20. That's really cool. What's in here? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Uh. Oh, that's neat. But I do want to walk to the other side of town. Hello. That lady over there? Something about her disturbs me. Is my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. What is this thing? Bun 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 bun. Is this Pokemon? Hello, bear. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So he started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. That's neat. Hey, it's this dude. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because he's wearing a striped shirt. Oh, okay then. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go inside. Hey! I know these people. Hey. Thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Huh. Centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Er, yeah. Groby says that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. The capital's getting pretty crowded. So I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the eraser, the eraser of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip, slip into, onto their butts. What's this guy? <laughs> no matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Ow! I want new drinks, uh, hot guys. Anyway. It's a mouse. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them. I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Praise Satan. Anyway. Hey, it's a lib library. <laughs> That's neat. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? <laughs> this... I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it in with comics and games. <laughs> this fucking lady smoking. <clears throat> When I was younger, my teachers gave me one such as when they ran out of assignments. I thought they was a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word switch creating the entire underground. <coughs> okay then. 
Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of souls unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Okay then, moving on. Hey, it's mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside, yes. It's empty. Oh, what about this one? Overflowing with unread junk mail. Okay then, it's locked. Oh, it's in here. Also locked from the inside. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's an ice cube. Global warming be damned. Ah, oh, tripping out, guys. Uh, did I run into something? Oh. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think that you are also cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be no lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... Uh, no, no, this is all wrong. I cannot be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh. Papyrus blocks the way. Okay then. Papyrus fight it is. Before we get to that, I need a drink. Ah, goodness. <clears throat> All right. Let's flirt. What? For flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. <laughs> I can make spaghetti. I can make spaghetti, actually. <laughs> oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Question mark? Let's date later, after I capture you. The pirate is thinking about what to wear for his date. Hmm. What's some more? Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you. He's thinking about what to cook for his date. And flirt some more. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later, after I capture you. Dab some bone clone. <laughs> I know he's a skeleton, but bone clone, like, really? And later, I'm gonna take you to the bone zone. <laughs> I'm gonna flirt some more. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later, after I capture you. What am I supposed to do? Dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Uh, so no avail. Seems acting won't escalate. Let's be later after I capture you. Mm. He dabs MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ears. Uh, what if I insult him? How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you! Okay. Pirate stabs. <laughs> MTT Brain Anime Powder. I don't know if you do that. Uh, we'll insult some more. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your bobs hide a hidden affection. Your emotional cactus. Dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ears. I'll insult some more. Don't! 
Don't waste your words on me. <clears throat> Fire steps, MTT brain, attraction slime behind his ear. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna need some more water. Ugh. Okay. Let's continue. Let's insult some more. You insult, but to no avail. Seems acting would escalate this battle. So you say that. Don't waste your words on me! Okay. Do, 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 do. Fire stabs, more beauty, or er, MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Hmm. What if I, I showed, I tried sparing? So you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my favorite blue attack! Oh, so I do have to do that. Okay. Look, Ma, no hands. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> oh, shit, son. I'm gonna flirt some more. Too busy fighting to flirt black. Oh, let's take later after I capture you. Oh, shit. This escalated quickly. <laughs> Considering his options. Too busy fighting to flirt back. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh ho ho. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Ah! Paris is rattling his bones. I insult him. Too busy fighting to accept your insult. Hold up longer to jump higher! Jeez! We Oh, okay. Ah, damn it, I ran right into the bone. <laughs> He's considering his options. Alright, well, try spring. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay. He's rattling his bones. All right. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh god. Okay. Ah. Oh shit. That was sneaky. You sly bones. Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> Papyrus, end of the royal god. Oh. Okay. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti! Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Oh, God. How much is that? Damn it. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Alright, I'm gonna have to get some uh, bicycle. Yeah. Undyne will really be proud of me. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Smells like bones. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. <laughs> First whispers. <laughs> my brother will. Well, he won't change very much. Oh shit. Price is rattling his bones. I'll have lots of admirers, but oh god, okay, oh god damn it, do 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 damn it, he's cackling. Unicycle, unicycle. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I'm doing pretty good. <clears throat> He's preparing a bone attack. Someone like you was really rare. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh shit, that was a bad. Oh god. He's cackling. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh shit. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need an item. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Let me get some nice cream. I'm super spiffy now. Yeah. After you're captured and sent away. Okay. Oh, God. <clears throat> ah, who cares? Give up. He whispers. <laughs> Give up or face my special attack. Oh, damn it. Oh boy. He prepares a non bone attack that spends a minute fixing, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Damn it. Haha. Ah. <laughs> He's cackling. <clears throat> Bicycle. Not too long and I will use that special attack. He's preparing a bone attack. This is your last chance before my special attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how? I didn't move. He's considering his options. I'll spare him some more. Behold, my special attack. Oh, it's a doggy. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh, well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Getting ready for some kind of attack. <clears throat> mm, sorry. <coughs> Ah, got something in my throat, I think. I don't know. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Okay. Whoa, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Jesus. Okay. This is giving me all the agita right now. <laughs> oh, that's the bone. Oh, cool. Dude. Skateboard. Uh, how? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, no. <coughs> well, <clears throat> it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. <laughs> Therefore I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. He's sparing me. Yeah, sure. No, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and... My friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should I say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then. I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. 
anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants a, to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Soul power! Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. Godzilla? <laughs> he is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> He's going to... Oh, well, that was something else. All right, um... Yeah. No music. Nice ambience. What's that? No, it's nothing. Okay. Alrighty then. Hey! I know you guys. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey! Don't tell my parents I'm here, huh? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it's heard. It heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the... It's <laughs> okay. Uh, gotcha. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm gonna grill these. Wanna come? Yeah! I'll come by. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Hey, it's Grubbies. This shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Were you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Eh, I haven't had breakfast in at least half hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. <laughs> Oops, watch, it, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whipper cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Give me that hamburguesa. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order burg. He just apparates through the door. So, what do you think? Of my brother? Yeah, he's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool if you wrote that if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. By that I mean he wears it in the shower. Hey, food's back. Berg! Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Bon appetit. <laughs> you tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup the Ah shit. Oops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Scratch his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I want to ask you something. Uh... Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to them. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? 
Thanks. Ominous foreshadowing. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe it let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? Jesus, no. Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Okay, can I have my burger? Hey, have my burger. Uh, grill, grill beast says that your food's probably cold by now. No! On my burg. Huh. Well then. Onward! Oh hey, it's Papyrus. Hello. So you came back to have a date with me. <clears throat> you must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Uh, wow, he's walking pretty fast, huh? Where are we going? Uh, okay. That's weird. Oh, my house! Okay, then. Hey! You touch the couch, it makes a jangly noise. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. Yay, 20G, nice. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me! Anyway. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, yeah, sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Oh, okay then. What's this do, Hickey? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on. Fans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? I get it! Oh. Uh, okay, can I make... My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried making something. It was like a quiche. But filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd! And that's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Interested in my food museum? Please browse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. Hmm. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. What's this? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. Hey, it's the dog. Got it? What? Catch that meddling canine. Casses! <laughs> Sands! Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Okay then. Uh, let's go to Sands' room. The door is locked. A classic image! It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones! That's my room! If you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Yeah, sure, why not? He's got a race car bed, that's cool. Some anime like figures, I guess. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Uh. You know, I never had a race car bed growing up. That'd been kind of neat. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. 
Yeah, that's right. Santa! Oh, I didn't know Santa delivered to the underground. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Nyahaha! <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. It's on the computer. The internet! I'm quite popular there. Yeah, no kidding. He really is. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Uh, the Fiend. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Peace. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh. Okay, what else? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. I know it. So, um, if you've seen everything, you want to start the date? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, dating start all. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. That's true. <laughs> I've snagged the official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Mm, let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating pud. Mm, okay. It's the sun. What the hell? Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. The dog in the radar. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, would go on a date. We'll go on a date with you. Okay. Really? His <laughs> cheeks are lighting up. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Mm. Okay. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage handing off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yeah, sure enough. Critical hit. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating. I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Cool, dude. No! <clears throat> a, ge a genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. 
This is it. Here. My hat? My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. <clears throat> a present just for you. Okay. Do you know what this is? Looks like spaghetti, I think. Spaghetti! Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This isn't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. Sorry, the E was a little weird. There's no way this can go any further. Okay. You take a small bite. Face reflexively scrunches up. Taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Oh! Ugh! No! <laughs> the critical hit! Wow. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, <clears throat> it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <coughs> mm, excuse me. Got a little something in my throat here. Mm. Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah, ha ha. Well, <coughs> that escalated quickly. I guess I better get out of here then. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think that just about does it for my playthrough of Undertale for now. So um, don't forget to uh, tune in next week to a brand new episode of Anacade where I play a new game. So, my name is Andy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!